Have you ever thought about things? Ever asked why? Of course you have, Jimbo. That little voice inside your head isn't there to just read words to you. It's your thoughts, thinking. It's your brain yearning for knowledge, for the answer to life's greatest question, why? But what is knowledge? Well, knowledge is everything that can be known. From historical regimes to the latest memes, it is all knowledge equally. Knowledge doesn't discriminate. No knowledge is greater than any other. Either it is known, or it is not. So what if I were to tell you that there is a YouTube channel dedicated to knowledge. All knowledge. No matter what some people might consider beneath them. After all, a man who listens to himself and pursues what he wants, void of the demands of others, is a happy man. And that man is Tyler of Knowledge Hub. And he brings us knowledge from the unlikeliest of sources. Heaven is, as Belinda Carlisle once said, a place on earth. We all make our own heavens and hells from what we consume. Negativity breeds negativity, as does positivity. So watching Knowledge Hub is certainly helping me to create my personal heaven. Alright, enough of this pompous pseudo-intelligent talk. I'm Olden Gold, and this is Yatil Episode 4. Knowledge Hub, previously known as Geography Hub, is an enlightened educational channel on a wide range of topics. Originally the second channel of Cody, of Alternate History Hub fame, his modern philosopher of a brother, Tyler, who had been running the channel since the beginning, took up the voice work from him in 2018. So whilst it shares many ties with Alternate History Hub, this is and always was Tyler's channel. Now, when it comes to educational channels, it's hard to hate them. It's about learning something new, and everyone likes to learn. What's this? You say you don't like to learn? Well, then you're a liar, Jimbo. A dirty liar. But Knowledge Hub does something greater than most educational channels out there. It has visuals that are just as interesting as the facts being told, and it is told in the way that interests you. Let me explain. You remember high school history class, right? The classroom with a bunch of quotes on the wall and the abomination of a South Up map on the wall. God, I hate those maps so much. Does it conjure memories of boring lectures and classroom naps? Or does it remind you of interesting stories and engaging conversations? Were there boring PowerPoints or stimulating activities? Now, this is just my hypothesis, but I believe if you experienced the former, then the reason you didn't have an experience like the latter is because of how the teacher presented the lesson. The way they talked and the way they acted did not capture your attention, and thus you were bored. It's all in the presentation, and I think that's the big advantage that Knowledge Hub has. The way Tyler and Cody spoke, joked, and displayed what they were teaching all helps draw you in and not bore you, thus making great edutainment. Lately, Knowledge Hub has changed up their videos to become more abstract. Now, some would say that these recent videos are considered, uh, shitposts. And as someone with experience shitposting, I must say, these are not shitposts, but works of art. It's like the perfect blend of quality production value from their history videos and the entertainment inherent to all good shitposts. It's beautiful. Now, some people are frustrated with this change. They like the old Knowledge Hub and not this newfangled Knowledge Hub. That it just wasn't good anymore, and they have their right to that opinion. But I personally disagree with this. I say the two forms that this channel has taken are both great for their respective reasons. One, for its well-explained and entertaining videos on interesting historical and geographical topics, and the other for its novel perspectives on pop culture, aesthetics, and the highest quality shitposts you will ever see. From a man of great means to a man of great memes, Knowledge Hub really has it all. Now, as I said previously, Knowledge Hub has changed their videos quite a lot, and the reason for this is 
quite simple. In a video on the future of the channel, Tyler states that he became bored of the history and geography videos they were making and he just didn't feel motivated to make them anymore. To force yourself to work on something you have lost interest in kills productivity. It makes you feel like you are just running on a treadmill, putting in the effort but never actually going anywhere. It's why bands change their sound over time, much to the anger of some early fans. So Tyler started to make videos that he actually wanted to make. Knowledge Hub has gone down the path of Mastodon and Devin Townsend, changing their content as their interests change, and I respect him for that. I feel many YouTubers are stuck in something that they just don't care for anymore, mainly by their fans or their sense of duty, and I am glad that Knowledge Hub has not fallen into that situation. Besides, how else could we get such insightful videos? This film is not about shooting stars and wishes, 2000s pop music or cartoon sex appeal, it's about fascism. I mean, someday I might stop doing this kind of content when I get bored with it and move to something else. Who knows, maybe in the future this will become a cooking channel. It's my channel after all. If I want to do cooking, then I'm going to do cooking. In summary, Knowledge Hub is a great channel for a great variety of reasons. If you want to be entertained, they got that. You want to be educated, they got that. And if you want to just have, so I have something to watch, they've always got something good in their large and diverse catalog. So go and check them out. I really like them. And I think you will as well. At least, I hope you will. This was Util Episode 4 on the Notable Knowledge Hub. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing for more. Also, follow me on Twitter 